this may help you kind of realize that it's just not that easy. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, it's kind of going to be the truth about reselling. And it's also going to be my bread and butter bolos. My bread and butter bolos are items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. But I want to dig a little deeper for maybe those of you that have are not seasoned sellers. Maybe you're just beginning on eBay and you're like, why are my items not selling? And you're feeling that frustration. Maybe you have 50 items listed and you feel like you should be selling more. Well, let me kind of talk to you about the reality of reselling in this video. And I'm going to show you 20 items, or I'm sorry, 22 items that I sold. All right. So let's get into some truth. Um, maybe some of the things that I don't talk about in every video, just because I kind of assume that everybody's been selling a long time and you already know these things. And this may help you kind of realize that it's just not that easy. All right. So let's get started. So um, how we're going to do this is I'm going to pop up the first screenshot here. And this is a vintage Thanksgiving punch out book, American Greetings Pilgrim's Journey. Now, I will tell you that I am more of a long tail seller. Um, when I search solds, I really don't look at sell through rate. Um, I just buy things that I get cheap, that are interesting to me, that I enjoy listing. And I am a patient reseller. And I have learned that I do really enjoy fast paced reselling, but I'm doing that over on whatnot. Um, I start my items low and I run them at an auction, usually $5 or less, anywhere from a dollar to $5 starts. That's on whatnot, not on eBay. On eBay, I price my items high and I put best offer and I wait for the right seller to come along that wants my item. So two totally different platforms. And you may wanna consider whatnot. I do have some tutorial videos. I will link them down in the description of the video if you guys wanna check it out. Um, if you're not on whatnot, you can use my referral link and get $15 to shop. Come hang out, come watch me on whatnot, see what a show is like. Um, and you don't have to buy anything, just come hang out. But you will have that $15 to shop. You can spend that with me or with anyone. And that is my referral link. So thank you in advance when you guys use my referral links. That does help me out as well. All right. So let's talk about this. I did sell this for my sale price of $18.20 and the buyer paid shipping. I got this at an estate sale. It was in a big bulk purchase. So I probably have pennies in it. This was listed. I listed this in November of 2022. So it took almost one full year to sell. So I listed it November 17th. It is a Thanksgiving item. So it was either going to sell really quick or it was going to be something that I had to wait a little longer for it to sell. I do leave up my items, holiday items, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July, whatever, all year long. Now, so what I'm going to tell you is if you are a new reseller, do not expect things to sell super fast unless you find something that is a really great item with a limited number available. It's probably going to sit for a little while. All right. I also have over 5,000 items listed. Now, Another thing that you want to do is you want to constantly be listing. That is another thing that I have not been real consistent with like lately, um, which is part of the reason I canceled memberships. I have cut back on YouTube a little bit and I'm starting to, I am doing more whatnot, but I also want to focus on getting more items in my eBay store because I've been really slacking on that. If you are not listing, I will say you will see a decline in sales, but because I have such a big store, I am still selling stuff every day, all right? Now, this item right here are Isadora Sheer Pantyhose. I picked these up at the Goodwill Bins. They did not have great comps, so I just listed these at a uh, sale price at $10 with a sale of $6.50. One person bought all three for $19.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Goodwill bins is by weight. So I didn't have a whole lot in this. Now, these, I listed these on February 27th of 23. 
So it took from February until November to list. Now, here's another thing that I will say. I'm not thinking about when I listed my items and how long they've been listed because I have so many items listed. If you are new to reselling and you you only have 50 items listed, you're thinking about each and every one like, oh my gosh, I have had this listed for 25 days and nothing, no activity. Once your store gets bigger, you start to, I think, focus less on are things selling? And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I could go in and do edits. I could um, end my item and do sell similar. There's other things that I could do, change my title, look at solds, maybe reassess my price point. I'm not doing those things. But as a new seller, if your item is not selling, those are some things that you could possibly do to generate more sales, create a coupon. Um, I have a whole video that teaches you how to create coupons to send out to your followers, to send out to past buyers. So will also teach you buy one, get one 25% off with a BOLO coupon. That's my code. So it'll also teach you how to do that. So if you want to check out that video, I do also have that available. So there are things you can do to create and generate more sales but um, sometimes eBay is just slow. So you have to kind of accept that and expect that and just keep listing. Uh, this one right here is a vintage Disney store, 101 Dalmatians patch plus plush dog floppy pup. Now, if you have room, I also recommend putting stuffed animal in your title. I sold this for $21.70 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this from a member of um, my Facebook group who reached out to me and just gave me a bunch of plush. So thank you if you're watching, I sold another one. And this was to a zero feedback buyer and I have already put it out or I will be putting a video out talking about zero feedback buyers. So definitely check that out. Um, I just kind of have some tricks and tips which would also be great for beginners but also seasoned sellers. This is a Blaze in the Monster Machine Flip and Race Blaze truck. I got this. I don't remember where I got this, but I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping, usually a dollar or less in these items. This is a vintage elephant child tea set, incomplete, made in Japan. Let me go back to this Blaze guy. Let's see how long. I had two of these and I listed this on January 14th of 2022. So it did take a while to sell. All right, so the elephant tea set, I got this at the Goodwill for $3, sold it for $19.84 and the buyer paid shipping. And I listed this on October 31st of 2021. So this one took almost two years to sell. So I am a very patient reseller, but I didn't think about this. I listed it and I forgot it. That's what I do. I list it and forget it. And that is not what everybody's going to tell you to do. You have to figure out what works for you. This uh, vintage Lucky Bell flower scented doll uh, from 1990, I got at the Goodwill bins. I ended up taking a best offer of 15 and the buyer paid shipping. I listed her March 12th of 2022. Just to give you guys an idea, not everything is a fast sale. This vintage plush moose reindeer Christmas stocking does not work. I still sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. This item has been listed so long that I didn't even note what I paid for it. Um, it does say October 19th of 2022. This was one that I did sell similar on. So it was listed before that. So uh, you can do sell similar. This is a vintage Polaroid camera. Now this one sold fast. And I got this at a garage sale for $2, sold it for $37.20 plus shipping. And I listed this November 1st and it sold November 4th. This is a Linux teacup, and I did a whole video talking about this item. You can see right here, the head is broken off, and I still sold it. Um, I got this at the Goodwill bins, and I sold it for $14, and the buyer paid shipping. And if you would like to watch that video, um, I kind of talk about this as a bolo item, 
but I also kind of emphasize that you can sell broken items and still make a profit. And that one was listed October 16th of 2022. The next item is this Waterford uh, kissing ball. This came out of a mystery box that I got at a thrift store. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This was the Goodwill bins. I lied. Um, I sold this for $19.50 plus shipping. And I listed this April of 2023. So less than a year on that one. So that one sold pretty quick. This is a vintage Fisher Price loving family doll. And I sold her for a best offer of $19 plus shipping. I get these all over the place. Um, garage sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace. And she was listed on August 4th of 2022. This Midwest of Cannon Falls Noah's Ark. The next one is this Midwest of Cannon Falls Noah's Ark figure, figurine, home decor. Um, this sold on November 9th. I got this in a thrift store mystery box. So I used to get Christmas boxes from a thrift store. I no longer do that. Um, I sold this for $25 plus shipping. And this has been listed since 2021. So this one took a long time to sell. But my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. And I sold it for 25. So that's really a great profit. Could I have reduced the price more or um, maybe changed my title and sold it faster, relisted it? Yes, possibly. Um, but right now with my schedule, I don't have a lot of time to go in and make those changes. But as a reseller that is only focusing on selling on platforms, that is definitely something that you can do. This is a Kohl's Cares Golden Books plush, and I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping, and this also came from the free plush that I got from a viewer, and I listed this October 31st of 2022 and sold it November 9th. This is a Vera Bradley pocket mirror. Now, this one also sold kind of fast. I got this at a garage sale over the summer for a dollar. Sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. It had the original tag. And I listed this in September and it sold in November. These are Daisy Kingdom Mary Inglebright lot of eight iron-on transfers. I sold these for $24.80 plus shipping. And I got these at an estate sale. So probably had less than a dollar in them. They were listed November 16th of 2022. So it took about a year to sell. Uh, Lego Racers Extreme Power Bike. This is incomplete for parts. I believe I got this at the Goodwill bins, but maybe it was a garage sale. I'm not sure. But it is like a pullback bike. It's pretty cool. Sold it for $10.40 plus shipping. I listed it November 15th of 2021. So it took about two years to sell. Now, wh what I would say about this, this is a very specific item that somebody is going to have to be looking for. I would list this expecting it to be a long tail item or an item that sells really fast because somebody has it on their watch list. The next item are these vintage arch books, read aloud cassettes. Um, there's two books here, The Princess and the Baby and The Boy with a Sling. I don't know. I, these go to something. Uh, arch books is what they go to. I sold this for best offer of $18 plus shipping. And I got these at the Goodwill bins listed in November of 2022 and sold. So it took about a year to sell. This is a Mac tools. And this was something my husband found. I don't know nothing about Mac tools, but he sold it for 25 plus shipping. I'm not even sure what he paid for it. October 25th of 2022 is when it was listed. So it took about a year to sell. This is a Mary Bright nine piece nativity. This is not something that I would have sourced, but I got it in a thrift store mystery box and it was new old stock. So I went ahead and listed it. I sold it for $13 plus shipping, probably had about a dollar in it. And it took a long time to sell. Like I said, this is probably not something I would have picked. Um, just, I don't know, uh, the quality of it. Just, I, I don't know. I just didn't feel it. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to list it and see. Uh, list it and forget it. Listed it in 2020 and it took three years to sell. The next item is this vintage Christmas Santa. This came out of a thrift store mystery box, a Christmas box, sold it for $16.25, buyer paid shipping, and probably had a dollar or less in this. 
I listed this in 2021, November of 2021, and it took about two years to sell. And I think I've sold quite a few of these on Mercari. If you're not on Mercari, definitely consider that. I do have a referral link down below. You'll get $10 to shop when you join and then another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And there are some items, if they're flooded on eBay, a lot of times they will sell quicker on the other platforms. So definitely something to consider. I've got my referral links for both Mercari and Poshmark down below. This is a Marinette String Plush German Shepherd Plush for repair. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I sold this for $31 and the buyer paid shipping and it is broken. Uh, April 1st of 2023. So that sold in less than a year. The next item is this Pioneer Audio Video Stereo Receiver with instructions. I think I found this with the remote, but um, I don't think the remote worked. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to try to sell the manual. Took a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping. This I listed on March 29th of 2023. So that one also took less than a year to list. So I guess... Um, to me, a bread and butter bolo is not really necessarily something that sells fast. It's something that I can source cheap and sell for a profit. Again, I'm more of a long tail seller. I'm not in it for the, I want to sell everything super quick. Um, I'm very patient. I have the space. Um, some people get storage units. Some people, um, they have like sheds in their backyard. Um, there's different ways that you can store your items. Some people only sell small things. So really think about your space. Think about all of those things if you're a beginner. And just know that not everything on eBay is a fast sale. If you want fast sales, you need to look at how many items are listed and how many items are sold. And there's some equation you can do to figure out the sell-through rate. But I'm going to tell you if there's 500 listed and only 50 sold, you probably don't want to buy that item because it's probably going to take a long time to sell, okay? So there are little tricks and tips to uh, sourcing smarter. I just kind of source what I want to source. I'm kind of a weird reseller, I guess. Um, I don't know. That's what I do. My method may not be the best method for you. There's lots of YouTube channels out there um, that you can watch and check out. But in this video, I just kind of wanted to address the question of, I have this many items listed. Why are my items not selling? And I also want to express to you that I've had items that I've had listed for seven years that'll sell and I'll still make a really great profit. But again, I'm patient and that is not for everyone. So you figure out what works for you. This is what I do. But in this video, I just kind of wanted to share how long each item had been listed. I'm not going to do that in every video but uh, just going a different route this time to kind of address that question that I got once in, I think maybe it was in the comments here or on Facebook. I don't remember. It's been a while ago, but it popped into my head. So I thought I would share it with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.